Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube channel. Today is May the 13th of 2022. I'd like to bring you another prophetic word from the Lord this morning. This is a second recording of the same word because I lost my first one and that doesn't make me happy but here I go I'll try to reiterate the important points that I felt the Lord was having me bring out with the earlier video. As you can see, I have a different background than the usual one. I am sitting outside at my cottage on a beautiful, warm Canadian spring day and enjoying it thoroughly. I hope the sound and the picture will be acceptable and that the background sounds won't be overwhelming. As I've shared in other videos, the Lord has often been speaking to me about the end times, about His return, and about the preparation for His return. And so today, this is another word that encourages us that the Lord's return is near, and it highlights the Lord's strategy in His end time plan. As I prepared this word, a scripture came to mind. It's a scripture from the book of Daniel. And what stood out to me was the fact that the people of God in these end times would shine with the radiance of Christ, with His glory upon them and this light would draw many unto himself. I'll begin this word with the scripture from Daniel. Daniel 12 verses 1 through 4 At that time shall arise Michael, the great prince, who has charge of your people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never has been since there was a nation till that time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky above, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars for ever and ever. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. This portion of scripture highlights that there will be a time of great trouble, but that the people of God will be delivered from it. This scripture speaks of those belonging to the Lord as shining like stars, and that their brightness will turn others to righteousness. I'll begin reading this word. I am turning the hearts of the people toward me, says the Lord. I am rescuing the lost, the perishing. I am sending out the lifeboats to bring those lost out at sea into the harbor. I have sent out a rescue crew with the message of the cross, the glorious gospel of peace. A remnant will be brought in from the north, south, east, and west. They shall be ushered into the kingdom. They shall be directed into shore by the light that shines forth from the lighthouse that I am establishing in their midst. I will redirect their thinking. I will point them to the truth, to the one who cares. I will show them the way back to the Father. Many will be drawn unto me by the light that shines forth from vessels of light. You will see how I use you. Those who had their ears tuned to the world's sounds will have their ears retuned to hear the sound of the Lord's coming. 
I will open their ears to hear the sound of life going forth from the minstrels I am raising up in this day, says the Lord. Great joy and pleasure will be found in the lyrics and music being birthed forth in my people. A tide of hope is rolling in from off the sea, an abundance of song sweeping forth, words and music saturated with the message of salvation. Every word will minister life and hope to those who hear. Trust in the Lord your God. Declare the word of the Lord to the nations. Do not hold back, but publicly announce the Lord's coming. Make it known to the nations. Publish it abroad. Proclaim it from the housetops. Let the people know that I am a righteous judge, a holy God, that I am creator of all things, that I have set the heavens in place. Sing aloud about the love and compassion of God for a fallen generation. Let the people know that I have sent a Savior into the world to redeem them from destruction and the pit of hell. Herald that I have loved and laid down the life of my Son to bridge the gap between God and man. Let the world know that the Father loves his creation and wants to rescue them from the sea. I will establish my covenant with you, says the Lord. I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Set your goal upon the high calling, the calling to which the Heavenly Father has called you. Set your sights upon the author and perfecter of your faith. Allow the Heavenly Father to mold you and make you as clay upon the potter's wheel. Allow the Father to fashion you into a beautiful vessel for his use. You will see that I have a place for you in the work of the ministry, that I can fit you into the place I have ordained for you. Do not doubt, for I am able to do all things. I am able to mold and make you and place you into ministry, says the Lord. The time is near when the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall be raised up. You will see the power of God at work in your midst. As the song of the Lord goes forth, multitudes shall come to the feet of Jesus, seeking to know the Savior. Many profess to know me, says the Lord, but their words are empty. They have only known a form of religion and have not known the living God. But I am about to change this. I am about to reveal myself to the nations. I am releasing witnesses into the earth to testify of me. These are sealed with the glory of the Lord. They are the ones who have come into my presence and supped with me. These shall witness my love to the ends of the earth. No longer shall the witness of my Son be contaminated with the lust, greed, and idolatry of men. I am sending forth a true witness, a resemblance of my Son in those who are His. His brilliance shall shine forth from them, and the people shall be drawn unto him by the brightness of his glory upon his chosen vessels, vessels of light, called and chosen of the Father. My witness shall go forth to take down the strongholds and delusion over the people, for this army of warriors will do battle in the heavenlies. My light shall break forth through the darkness to reach every man, woman, and child with the truth. This is my desire, that they may know me. This is my desire, that they would honor me. My peace shall be upon those who choose to make me their God, says the Lord, for I am not far from those who would call out to me. As you can see, this word reiterates what was spoken of in the book of Daniel regarding God's chosen people, that they would shine with the radiance of Christ and be a light to those who are still in darkness. And it encourages us that that trumpet sound 
is near, that the Lord is returning soon, that he is bringing in a harvest, and that his people are going forth in this day with the song of the Lord on their lips, declaring God's goodness and declaring his return. I find it interesting that this scripture from the book of Daniel tells us that these words the Lord had given Daniel, although they were recorded in scripture, they were to be sealed up till the end of time. Are we in that time when these words are being revealed once again? I encourage all of you who are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ to declare his goodness and to expect that multitudes will come into the kingdom through our witness. And if there are any watching this video who do not yet know the Lord, be encouraged. The Lord is reaching out to you in this day. If you hear his word, embrace it. Call out to him and he will rescue you from the time of trouble in the last day. Thank you for listening today. I hope this word will bless you and encourage you. I pray the Lord will shine his light upon you and through you in this day, that you would rejoice in him and the good news of his soon return. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.